Hey folks, it's Jimmy again. How are you doing today? Hope, you, hope you're well and having a great week, day, whatever. We're going to review a band from Germany today called Kiss and Dynamite. Let's get into it. Okay, so yes, Kiss and Dynamite uh, have just released an album called Ecstasy. It is out now on Metal Blade Records. It's 13 songs for 55 minutes. Uh, it includes two bonus tracks um, and they are from Germany, as I said. Now, this is this band's sixth album. And up until I got a copy of this, I'd never heard of the band. So it just goes to show you, um, they've obviously been around for a fair while, and it just goes to show you there's so many great bands out there in the world that a lot of people don't know about. And this is the reason why we do re reviews, so that you can find out about them. Uh, yeah, so sixth album, <laughs> Ecstasy. If you like Steel Panther, uh, without the comedy, Heat, Eclipse, Bon Jovi, Def Leppard, etc., then you are gonna love this album just like I did. Let's give you a taste right now. Okay, so this is glam, hard rock, uh, with a modern sound. It's Steel Panther-ish without all the shtick, shtick uh, and comic lyrics. Um, although there are some very cheesy lyrics on this album, I will say that. But, you know, that's the genre. It kind, it kind of goes hand in hand and who cares? It's just fun, you know. Um, huge choruses, great vocals, big guitar solos. It's a throwback to big, fun, dumb, loud, hard rock music. And sometimes you don't have to be breaking new boundaries all the time. Sometimes you just want to put on an album that just throws you back and is just big, dumb and stupid. And that's great. There's nothing wrong with that. It's entertaining. Um, and that's what I love about this album. Um, the funny thing is though, the, the first two times that I listened to this album, I didn't get into it at all. I don't know what it was. There was just something about it that I wasn't it wasn't grabbing me. And then um, last week I woke up with one of the songs stuck in my head and I just could not get it out of my head and I put the album back on and all of a sudden it all just, I, I got it somehow in here. This teeny tiny little brain of mine. <laughs> uh, I got it and now I love it. So let's have a listen to some more music now. Now the production uh, on this album is huge, as you would expect. Uh, I don't have the name of the producer uh, for this album, but whoever did it did a great job. Uh, big stadium rock, this. Now there's um, a song on here, a real highlight for the album of the album for me was a song called, the title track, Ecstasy. Um, it features a singer called Anna Brunner. Uh, who apparently is from a band called Exit Eden, who again, I'm sorry, I haven't heard of them, um, but I'm gonna go and check them out because she has got this incredible voice, this real metal voice, you know, uh, and it worked in the song and sounds awesome. So I'm gonna check that band out and that was a definite highlight for me. Let's uh, give you another taste of some music now. I'm chasing Now there's two ballads uh, on this album and they are very, very 80s ballads. Um, 
and I don't like them. So I, I, I found myself skipping those two songs. I think one of them is the last song and one's around the middle. Um, I've heard enough 80s sounding ballads to last me a lifetime. Okay, and I, I'm just, these days, they just don't grab me. I don't get into them anymore. I don't know why, uh, but I don't. So I kind of skip past those, but every other song on this album is brilliant. Overall, it's a fantastic album. It's catchy, melodic, 80s stadium rock. Um, and if that's your thing from way back in the day, get onto it. It's not a rip off of anyone. It's, it's original sounding, but it's, you know, the way the songs are written and the way that they're played, is very much an 80s influence and I find that to be really cool because I love that style of music and I know a lot of people out there do. So get onto it and check this band out. Kissin' Dynamite, the album is called Ecstasy. I gave it an eight out of 10. Every song is a winner except for the two ballads. I'm sorry, I just couldn't get onto them. Whatever, who cares if I don't like it? If you, or if I don't like those songs, if you like 80s sounding hard rock with a bit of Steel Panthers type vibe to it, then get on this band because they're bloody good. Check them out, subscribe to the Hard Rock Show YouTube page, subscribe to my YouTube page, Jimmy Van Zeno. There's heaps more stuff coming, so enjoy and have a great day. See ya.